Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video we are going to learn how to change the splash screen of your Garmin GPS to a logo of the vehicle that you're driving or some other picture or whatever image you want. Uh, this is a question that some one of my uh, viewers asked and I'm making this video for them and you can also learn how to do that. So basically when you normally turn on this GPS, let me turn turn this off and show you what I mean let me switch switch the camera so I'm turning this off and as I turn it back on let me unplug it so I turn it off power off when you unplug it it turns off all the way so so now as you turn it back on you see the Garmin logo this person wants me to teach him how to change this to like Mercedes logo BMW logo or any logo matching the vehicle that you're driving this way it will appear as if it's a part of the vehicle so that is how we're going to learn all right so the first thing we need to do is we need to plug this into the computer. The reason why we want to plug this into the computer is to see the construction of the wallpaper image and then go according to that. First, let me show you what I mean by wallpaper image. So these are the images available right now in this GPS. These are all the images available that you could set as your startup screen. However, we want to switch it to something else. We don't want any of these uh, default stock photos, and uh, that's what we need to do. So we need to see the characteristic of these images, if they're G GIF, if they're JPEG, what pixel resolution, and we have to create an image that matches that. Okay, so let's plug this to the computer. This is plugged into the computer. When you plug it into the computer, you have this bar that moves from right to left. So I'm going to pause the video because this will take a while. Okay, so now let's switch to the computer. On the computer, you will see uh, the GPS appear right here. I mean, this is where it is. And we want to just close that. And we will go to the PC and this is our Garmin drive we double click we look at the JPEG images so first thing we we see that all the uh, images are JPEG so let's see one of these images to make sure that's what they are yeah that's indeed one of those images and all those images the default images okay now let's see the uh, dimensions of these so you right click and go to properties So the size is 29.2 uh, kilobytes. And if you look at the uh, resolution, let's see the resolution. Okay, one second, because this doesn't want to show me the resolution. Just a second. So we have to go to details. The, the resolution, we must click on details. I wanted to maybe see if we, I can get it there. And details, we see the resolution. So the height has to be 300, 232 pixels. The width has to be 480. So 480 by, <coughs> I'm sorry, 480 by 232. Make a note of that, of that value because that's what you need. Uh, so I'm going to write it on a piece of paper. Actually, you know what? I'm going to write it uh, in a notepad uh, within the computer. Sticky note. okay so this is updating my god okay so the sticky note is ready i will write my dimensions for 80 by 232 this is the number that i need to make the picture and the picture has to be let's see 32 29.2 uh, kilobytes no more than that 29.2 
KB. Now we close this and close that. You can leave this open because you have to dump the picture here after you're done. We'll go to the internet. In internet, we will search. Let's say we are driving a Toyota. Uh, so Toyota logo. Which one is the most beautiful that you want to take? Let's say this one. Toyota logo. Right click and save image as. This is not a JPEG, so I need an image converter. I want a JPEG. So let me Toyota, Toyota logo JPEG. So this one is a good one. Let's hope it's JPEG. Save image as. And save. So the logo has been saved. Now if I go to my downloads, this is my Toyota logo. Problem is, this is a huge file. 1000, let me open it and show you. See how huge this file is? Let's look at the properties of this file. Let's see. This is 305 kilobytes and the details it is huge huge so we need to resize it there are many free photo resizers online but you could also do it with windows photo editor or microsoft uh, i'm paint or you can do it with uh, adobe photoshop or corel photo paint and there's so many software so let's see if there is a default software i haven't installed any photo editing software in this I'm going to see if there is any default software that I can use that comes with this and I don't see any default software. Photo, let's search for it. Oh, I just saw one. One second. For paint, let's see if this will give me the option. No, I don't think so. Image properties. Oh yeah, you can, you can change. So let's uh, open it with this. Now we go to File, Image Properties. And remember the, the numbers that we had? 480 to 32. Okay. Okay, so this is not good because what this did is it cropped it to that size. It didn't, re it didn't resize the image. It didn't reprocess. So you can't use this program. Let's uh, go to online photo resizers. They're free of, free, free. Uh, yeah. Okay, so JPEG, let's see, JPEG to JPEG. This is photo converter, I need resizer, image resizer. Oh, this is, Adobe is expensive, you, we want a free one. Image resizer.com, so select an image. We are going to select the Toyota logo and we're going to open it and voila now we're going to select uh, the size we want where is that little sticky note I have a short memory 480 to 32 you can't lock aspect ratios okay so uncheck this oh, what was that again 332 uh, 232 480232. 480, 232. This will stretch the picture a little bit. Uh, it, it will change the shape. But let's see what happens. Let's see. 
resize image download image and let's look yeah so it kind of you know we have uh, bars on the side because it didn't want to stretch it but now I'm sure there are settings in there right here there's settings that allow you allow it to allow the ma the program to change uh, the image aspect ratios by stretching it but since I didn't choose that anyways I'm going to use this whatever this is so that's fine okay so now let's put that inside the GPS where is my GPS uh, this is my GPS Toyota logo the small one see it's only 19 kilobytes my GPS would love that it's very lightweight very lightweight so I'm gonna go to the G GPS and put the Toyota logo and let's disconnect the GPS and see what we have so now we're disconnecting the GPS and we'll see what we have here let me go back to the there you go okay the logo is not gonna come yet because I have to pick it I have to choose that Toyota logo so right now it will still be Garmin even when you change the logo in the beginning the Garmin will still be there but then the Garmin will change to the logo of your choice so now, settings, picture viewers, picture viewer, scroll down, choose the Toyota, and then when you choose the Toyota, you go to info, and right here, display at power on. See that? Display at power on. Click that. This will be displayed. Okay? Go back and back and back and back now we turn it off the unit is off let's turn it back on okay after this the logo will come it will take a second or so there you go so this Toyota if you have a Toyota vehicle when this boots up you know your passenger and everybody will be impressed they will think wow this is a stock GPS this and that and what have you this is just for fun this is this is not I'm not teaching you to do fraud and sell a Garmin GPS as a Toyota GPS this is just for fun so you can have a matching wallpaper or, or startup screen uh, to the vehicle that you're driving all right thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe